the lump of gold. Have you ever seen a millionaire wear rags? Not ripped designer jeans or artistically distressed clothing, but genuine threadbare poverty patches? That was Paul. Paul was a very rich man, but he never spent any of his money. He was scared that someone would steal it. He pretended to be poor and wore dirty old clothes. People laughed at him, but he didn't care. He only cared about his money. One day, he bought a big lump of gold. He hid it in a hole by a tree. Every night, he went to the hole to look at his treasure. He sat and he looked. No one will ever find my gold, he said. But one night, a thief saw Paul looking at his gold. And when Paul went home, the thief picked up the lump of gold, slipped it into his bag, and ran away. The next day, Paul went to look at his gold, but it wasn't there. It had disappeared. Paul cried and cried. He cried so loud that a wise old man heard him. He came to help. Paul told him the sad tale of the stolen lump of gold. Don't worry, he said. Get a big stone and put it in the hole by the tree. What, said Paul. Why? What did you do with your lump of gold? I sat and looked at it every day, said Paul. Exactly, said the wise old man. You can do the same with a stone, Paul listened, thought momentarily, and then said, yes, you're right. I've been ridiculous. Paul went and found a large, smooth stone, placing it carefully in the hole where his gold once lay. Every night, just like before, he would visit the tree. He'd sit and gaze at the stone, a curious smile playing on his lips. People still thought him strange, but their laughter no longer bothered him. One day, a young boy named Tommy approached Paul. He was wide-eyed and curious about the old man's nightly ritual. Mr. Tommy asked, What's so special about that rock? Paul chuckled. It's my treasure, he said, patting the stone gently. Tommy's eyes widened further. A treasure. But it's just a rock. Paul shook his head. Not just any rock, Tommy. It's a reminder. He told Tommy the story of his stolen gold and the fear and loneliness that accompanied his obsession with riches. Then he explained how the wise old man had helped him realize happiness wasn't found in material possessions. This stone, Paul concluded, reminds me that true wealth lies in the simple things, the beauty of nature, the company of friends, and the joy of sharing. Tommy pondered this for a moment. So are you happy now? Paul looked around at the setting sun painting the sky in vibrant hues, a smile crinkling the corners of his eyes. Happier than I've ever been, Tommy. News of Paul's transformation spread through the village. People began to see him in a new light. He wasn't just the strange old miser anymore, but a man who had learned a valuable lesson and emerged stronger. Children flocked to him, eager to hear stories and share their laughter. Paul's days were no longer filled with loneliness and paranoia, but with warmth and connection. One day, a ragged group of travelers arrived in the village. They were on their way north, fleeing a harsh winter. Their leader, a kind woman named Alara, explained their plight. Their food supplies were dwindling, and they feared the journey ahead. Without hesitation, Paul went inside his humble home. He returned with a hidden pouch, much smaller than the one he used to guard, but overflowing with old coins. Years of saving, a habit he couldn't quite shake, had come in useful at last. Alara's eyes welled up with tears. But sir, how can we accept this? You need it more than we do. 
Paul shook his head. True wealth, Alara, lies in helping others. This gold will buy you food and shelter, and that brings me more joy than any shiny rock ever could. The travelers showered Paul with gratitude. As they departed, a sense of peace settled over him. He had finally used his wealth for good and in doing so, had discovered a kind of happiness far more valuable than any treasure he could have guarded under a tree. From that day on, Paul continued to live simply, but his heart was full. He used his remaining money to help others in need, and the village became a more vibrant place thanks to his generosity. His story became a legend, a reminder that true wealth lies not in what we possess, but in the good we do and the joy we share with others. And sometimes the greatest treasures are found not buried in the ground, but hidden within ourselves, waiting to be discovered. I don't need a lump of gold to be happy. What about you, friend? Take a moment to reflect on the things that truly bring you joy. Is it spending time with loved ones, pursuing a hobby, or helping others? Challenge yourself to find ways to share your wealth, whether it's time, talent, or resources. You might be surprised at the joy it brings you and those around you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe to Go English Stories for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.